And now will you please join me in welcoming the President of Colorado State University and Chancellor of the CSU System, Tony Frank. I find myself as I get a little older being tempted with distractions as I start remarks. Um, Bruce's use of the word exile combines with my own liberal arts education that I'm proud of and tempts me to go back to some turning this whole speech into something about wandering in the wilderness um, or perhaps the temptations of philosophy. The veterinarian in me is tempted to dwell on cat barf, um, <laughs> which I could extol for some time. My own beginning to these remarks has largely been stolen by Anne, where I was going to speculate on the loss of culture we had from losing the small entryway where students had unique and nearly continuous and often high-speed opportunities to bond with each other. Um, so I'll just instead um, move to my remarks here. And I, I will say as I begin that I think it's incredibly fitting uh, that the celebration is called Home Again. Willard Eddy, as many of you know, first came to Colorado State University as a faculty member in 1937. And he came with the belief that there should be a home for the liberal arts at any institution of higher education, even an A&M college that in those days was more interested more in irrigation, animal husbandry, and home economics than planetary poetry or Plato. I never knew Professor Eddy personally, but I've read some of the things that he wrote and I've heard stories, stories from people like Bernie Rowland and Lauren Crabtree, who worked closely with him for many years. I know that he loved the land-grant university mission because he believed it democratized American higher education. And he believed that that mission of land grants also fully embraced the liberal arts. He saw it as a university's obligation, as I believe all of us at Colorado State do today, to ensure that every engineer, every agriculturalist, even the occasional veterinarian, has some knowledge of history, philosophy, literature, and language, the disciplines which enrich and inform our humanity. Of the three departments now housed in this building, philosophy, English, and ethnic studies, Professor Eddy at one point headed two of them. He's credited more than any other single individual with promoting liberal arts education at this university, and he found a champion for many of his ideas in President Bill Morgan. During his 56-year tenure, William Eddy created the Philosophy Department and the University Honors Program, and he developed our very first courses in philosophy, ethics, and logic. He was a beloved teacher, and as chair, he brought many of our most accomplished philosophy faculty to this campus, hiring young PhDs and doctoral students from the nation's most prestigious universities and offering them a chance to grow their scholarship here. With Gladys by his side, he developed an extraordinary legacy for Colorado State University. In recognition of that legacy, this building was named for him in 1978, and he held an office here until his death in 1993. I'm told that he was proud of this facility and what it represented, and I imagine that he would be proud today to know that liberal education is not just alive and well at Colorado State, but indeed thriving. I think he might have been impressed by the new technology in this building, the mechanical systems, the new learning technologies, that sort of thing, but I suspect even more he would be pleased to see such an outstanding faculty in this space to recognize that the Honors College has continued to grow in quality and size. And that this building, even with all those wonderful renovations, remains at its heart a place for professors and students to come together, as you've heard described, for people to talk, to think, to question, to write, and to learn from each other in the great liberal education tradition. I suspect that Professor Eddy would also be proud to see this renovation occurring during the tenure of another great champion of the liberal arts, Dean Ann Gill. Like Willard Eddy, Ann has been a tireless advocate for her college, its faculty, and its students. And this renovation, as you've heard, happened in no small part because of her leadership and passion. I'm skeptical that Professor Eddy would ever have brought photographs of restrooms to a university planning and budget hearing to pressure us about renovations, but I think he would have respected the passion that Ann had when she brought those photographs. We should also thank Sandra Eddy, Gladys and Willard's daughter, for honoring us with her presence here today. So let me close with this thought. Even with its tiny doorway, 
Eddie Hall has always been a gateway to bigger things, to expansive ideas, to great dreams, serious questions, the gateway to important and lasting work. Joking aside, we're all glad we've improved the entryway. But I think we're all happier still that we've preserved, restored, and revitalized a gateway to learning and to a liberal arts education that has willowed Eddie's legacy at Colorado State University. Thank you.